guys, Mike Pfeiffer with Pfeiffer Hobby Supply, and um, we're here in the the uh, back of uh, Pfeiffer Hobby Supply. Uh, this is one of the two storage buildings. You guys have seen the progress of most of this stuff. Uh, what I'm going to do today is give you a kind of a brief history. Um, today, right now, it's about 78 degrees out here and about 56 percent humidity, which is really unusual for us. It's comfortable underneath the tree here, but you get out in the sun and it's pretty hot and it's supposed to get up to around 100 today. Um, anyway, I'd also like to thank everyone, and basically this video is to thank everyone uh, on YouTube for supporting us and being there for us and looking at all the videos, uh, regardless of what the subject matter. Um, we'd like to thank everybody for 2,609,667 views on YouTube. And we'd also like to thank the 5,202 uh, subscriptions that we have. And if it wasn't for you guys, um, making these videos, you know, to me w wouldn't be any fun. And it, and it is fun. And uh, we certainly thank all of you guys for being there for us and uh, looking at the videos and commenting. And it's, for me, for Robin and I, actually, it's been a real positive experience. Uh, we've enjoyed it all along the way, and uh, we hope to continue to do so and hope you guys continue to look at the videos and, and support us. And also be sure and check out our advertisers on, on there. Um, you know, we don't make our revenue off of that, but, but, you know, it helps when you check out an advertiser that strikes your interest. Uh, just go take a look at their site and see what they have to say. It helps us, it helps them, and maybe it's something you like. So anyway... Um, Without any further ado, uh, let's get on with this and uh, see what I can put together here. Hi guys, um, here I am inside. Uh, I'm just going to record some stuff um, through the webcam here because it's the easiest way. But anyways, uh, just a brief history uh, on Robin and I for those of you who we haven't talked to in person and so forth. And uh, we started in uh, March of 2004. So we've been doing this for about 11 years uh, with the website. Uh, prior to that, we had a retail hobby shop uh, with a partner for a while, uh, sold our half to him, and um, went on to pursue doing this online. Um, and we've been doing it since March of 2004. And with all of you guys' support and everything. Uh, just to let you know how it originally started is, uh, we got some vendors to sell to us uh, and uh, this shop actually started out in a uh, small coat closet in a spare room. We had the entire coat closet full of um, inventory. Uh, it then expanded from there to part of the um, laundry room, the, all the cabinets uh, above the laundry room. Then it went into a pantry. Uh, it, it continued on into the pantry uh, so then we had all three of those areas and those areas could no longer support it. it it's kept growing and growing and uh, we built the first shed in the backyard which we'll take a look at here and uh, then I added on to the first shed that was built um, and later on uh, most recently and you guys probably saw the pictures uh, we built the second building in the back uh, the first building is um, 8 by uh, 24 I believe and the new building is 10 by 24 with an 8 by 8 addition to it and um, we do you know most people ask us you know do you guys have the inventory there and yes we have the inventory here we buy the inventory we keep it here and we ship out of here we, all of our shipping takes place in half the garage uh, my layout is in the other half of the garage and uh, so let's kind of just uh, take a look at some still pictures here and uh, I'll stop and interject things if I can or as I uh, realize them. So let's kind of go back in time and start from the beginning and take a look at uh, some pictures. This shot was the beginning of the uh, first shed in uh, 2004, of March of 2004. Uh, just a picture of the inside, uh, the studying of it and everything. Um, this is a picture of my helper uh, painting the decorations that will go on the outside and basically this here is the finished product. 
Okay, this is just a shot of uh, my grandson helping us with the uh, beginning of the ad addition onto the existing shed. And this is what the shed eventually looked like and we've added on some scenery since then. Okay guys, so so far you've seen the, uh, the conception of um, the first shed and its addition. Um, we outgrew that pretty fast. Uh, sometime between uh, 2011 and 2013, uh, we decided that uh, we would go down and rent uh, a 10 by 20 storage unit uh, real near us. It's about two minutes from the house. And that was working out well. Uh, we, we actually even soon outgrew that uh, and rented a unit, an indoor, uh, it, they were indoor units, and we rented the unit right across from the existing one. Uh, the problem was that if you forgot something at the end of the day when you got ready to pack you had to run back down there and back and forth and, and it was just a little bit of a hassle and we decided that what it was costing us to rent the place we could just build our own uh, shed. So um, sometime the beginning of, of, of August or uh, sometime the beginning of 2013 wound up to be around August uh, we decided to build our own shed, uh, a new shed, and you guys have seen a lot of pictures of the making of that because I took a lot of pictures during that. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that shed looks like. Okay, here we see the floor joists all in place and we're kind of going through this kind of hurriedly. The next shot you're going to see here is with the uh, wall, wall studding up and the floor done and initially painted. Uh, once we got the outside done and sheetrocking done, we started putting dividers inside and putting up some shelving units for the inventory. And then this is basically what the shed looks like today. This picture was taken a year or so ago. But that's about it. There's the um, old shed as it looks today. Well, there you have it. And that's pretty much where we stand today. Um, the two last pictures that you saw there are pretty much how the buildings are today. Um, we are all in, all in all, I think I figured it out here, I think we have nearly a thousand square feet of um, space between the two sheds and the space we use in the garage uh, for the packing and shipping. Uh, if I include the layout which I use for demonstration purposes and of course my own fun, um, uh, it would be well over a thousand square feet of the house here. Um, so that being said, uh, I, once again I would like to uh, thank everybody for, for looking at the channel and check out the How To channel and I'm going to do, or there will be attached to the end of this, a ending video and um, I just hope you enjoyed it. Well everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, um, like I say, it, it's just really a, a tribute video to all the people that have made all of this possible and made it fun. Um, and as, as always, uh, check out the uh, how-to channel. I intend on doing another how-to today. I have a gentleman who's asked some uh, very simple DCC questions. Uh, he has said that he's a beginner. So we'll take a look into that. And for now, uh, that's it from Pfeiffer Hobby Supply. And the channel is Mike Pfeiffer. And y'all come back and see us again.